Hello everyone, in this video we're going to explain how to check occlusion. For the same video in Arabic, kindly check the link in the description box below. We check occlusion using the articulating paper and typically it comes in a booklet. You can see that it has like a clear sheets that we're not going to use. And then there is the carbon paper and this is what we're going to use. Sometimes it comes in one color for the old booklet or you can see that like this one it comes in two colors and we're going to explain why is it important to have both colors when checking occlusion. So we're just going to take one paper. Then we have here the articulating paper holder. Okay, they're like tongs so you're just going to push it okay to open it and then we're going to place the articulating paper. Okay, so this is the articulating paper holder. So what is the purpose? The purpose is to check the patient's bite after restoring it in centric and eccentric movement. Okay, so when they bite and when they grind or chew. That is why we have two colors. So one could be for the centric and the other can be for the eccentric and it doesn't matter which color. So how are we going to use it? You're going to place, okay, the handle of the holder in the buccal vestibule direction. So it is facing the buccal vestibule. That way the carbon, okay, of the articulating paper will imprint on the teeth, okay? We're not going to hold it in this way because the patient will bite on the metal. So this is the way we put it, okay? And the same thing in the other side, okay? Or in the anterior region. So to check for occlusion, first we check the centric occlusion, which is when the patient is biting on his back teeth. And we have the eccentric, which is grinding or chewing. So what do we do? We dry the patient's teeth first, then we ask the patient to open his mouth and then we place the articulating paper on his teeth and we ask him to bite on his back teeth or the molars, okay? And then we ask him to close tightly and then we tug or pull the articulating paper and then we ask the patient to open their mouth and then we check the points or markings of the articulating paper. Remember that you need to check occlusion prior to starting cavity preparation. So after the restoration, you return the occlusion back to its normal, okay? So if there is any point high, it will show a dark mark compared to the uh, other teeth or to the normal bite, okay? If it is so high, there's going to be a dark circle and there's gonna be a tear in the middle and this is called bull's eye because it will look like a bull's eye. So this is the markings in the lower. When we look at the upper jaw, we can see that there are similar markings where there is a contact in the teeth. Okay, so now to check for the eccentric movement, we're going to flip the articulating paper in the articulating paper holder. Okay, so we're just gonna switch the color Okay, and then we're going to place it also in the patient's mouth. We're going to ask them to open. We're going to place it, but the reverse color. And then we're going to ask the patient to do movements in protrusive, retrusive, and side-to-side -side movements to simulate the chewing motion. Okay. After that, we'll check the markings again. Okay, all the markings should be similar to before restoring the tooth. Okay, so as we can see here in this tooth, for example, if you did a restoration in this tooth, then it has these darker markings on the mesial side. It means that these areas are high. Okay, the occlusion in this area is high. So in this tooth, for example, as we said, we're going to remove uh, if we did a restoration in this tooth, we're going to remove these markings and then check occlusion again. It is very important to remove the high points, otherwise the patient can suffer from severe headaches or migraines. Or sometimes it can cause like ear pain or uh, TMJ problems or 
uh, you know, uh, anything of the sort. So it is very important to check the occlusion before the patient leaves your clinic. And if there is anything, you adjust it and you check occlusion again. Okay, so you, you do the same technique again. You dry the tooth and then you check occlusion. Okay, and it's better if the patient is sitting upright so he can feel it properly. So let us now see an example of a restored tooth. Okay, so we have here an amalgam restoration and we're going to check occlusion for this tooth. Okay, so what we're going to do first is dry the teeth and then place the articulating paper and ask the patient to bite in centric occlusion, okay? To check the centric occlusion, we're gonna ask him to bite, we're gonna tug on the articulating paper, then ask him to open, and then we're going to check the markings on the tooth. As you can see here, that the restoration itself has very light markings, similar to the markings on the tooth. That means that there is nothing high on this restoration. After that, we're going to check the eccentric occlusion, ask the patient to bite, and move side to side, protrusive and retrusive movements. Okay, ask them to do front and back, side to side. And then we're going to check the markings. We can see here that there is a dark red marking, okay, but it is not part of the restoration. So it's from the patient's natural tooth, okay? So we're not going to remove this area. And you can see that the degree of redness or the intensity of the red is similar in all teeth. So in this video, we learned how to check occlusion. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.